TIA portal openness provides a defined interface for direct access to the TIA portal from external applications. For example, hardware can be created and parameters can be changed via TIA portal openness. Automated commissioning can also be implemented by use of TIA portal openness. Hardware and software can be automatically created via the openness interface by exporting directly from upstream programs in which configuration data is stored. In order to learn how TIA portal openness works for the Synamics drives, we provide a free start drive application, edit parameters in several drives. What can you do with the application? In a TIA portal project, parameters can be changed in several drives at the same time. This is particularly important for large projects such as in the automotive industry. If you notice after commissioning that, for instance, the startup time of 10 seconds is not dynamic enough and you want to change it to 2 seconds. You previously had to do this manually for each drive. With 200 drives, one is busy for a few hours for the execution. With a start drive application, parameter list can be generated, the required parameter adjustment can be made and then, with one click, all 200 drives can be changed at once. The parameter changes can be carried out offline and online. How is the application programmed? And how can you use TIA Portal Openness for Synamics? The StarDrive application is an open source example. You can extend the application by yourself or use it as a basis for a self-written application. But now we want to demonstrate the StarDrive application edit parameters in several drives. We open the StarDrive application and confirm the message. The tool now opens the TIA portal in the background. Now we open a TIA portal project. The project is loaded and the application automatically identifies how many drives are in the project. The Synamics drives found are displayed directly in the project tree of the tool. In this project, 20 drives were identified. On the right hand side, you can now create or import new parameter lists or save the current parameter list so that the settings can be sent to a colleague by email for instance. Now we open the parameter list which contains four parameters, minimum and maximum speed, as well as ramp up and ramp down time. We mark the first drive and give the command for parameter reading. If the symbol has turned green, the data was read successfully. It can now be seen that the ramp down and ramp up times are different, 5 and 10 seconds. Now we read the data from the second drive. Here the ramp up and ramp down times are 10 seconds. However, the set times are too high and in order to increase the product output of the machine, we want to set the ramp up time in all drives to 1 second and the ramp down time to 2 seconds. In the project tree, we select all drives. The settings can be changed online or offline. We perform the offline parameter changes and you will see all four parameters in the parameter list are changed one after the other in each drive. After all changes have been made, the changes must still be saved. In order to see if the settings have been transferred successfully, we close the application and open the project directly in the TIA portal. In the project tree, you can now see all 20 drives and under parameter, setpoint channel, ramp function generator, the settings can now be checked. As you can see, the ramp up time is 1 second and the ramp down time is 2 seconds. The settings have therefore been transferred successfully. Now we check if the settings have been applied to the second drive. The settings have also been successfully adapted in the second drive. As you can see, the start drive application can be used via the TA portal openness interface to easily change the parameters in multiple drives with one click. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.